hey you guys, I wanted to show you how super, super easy it is to make a phone grip with these clear decals. Okay, so here's a few different options of one we could do. I think we're gonna, let's do the little pig. Why not, right? The little piggy corn. Okay, so what we're gonna do, these are all 1.25 inches. So if you're looking for the size decal you need for phone grips, that's the size you want, 1.25. All right, we're gonna move all these out of the way. All right, the biggest thing to think about or to know when using the clear decals is that putting a layer of resin or epoxy first will help a lot with the edges being um, seen. So you won't see the edges at all if you do um, a layer of epoxy or resin first. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna use UV resin today. All right. So we're just gonna put some UV resin on our phone grip. The phone grips can be found on the website, www.zendy.com. And then the decals can also be found on the website uh, whenever you log in. If you look on the left, or just go to zendy.com, look on the left-hand side, and in that menu, you're gonna see an option for clear decals. That's the one you want, and it'll show you all the different options. And in the drop down, you can pick the size you want. Uh, for phone grips, you want 1.25 inches. If you wanna put it on a three inch circle or square, you wanna pick the 2.5 inch. Um, just be aware that not all the 2.5 inch ones will fit on the circle if they're more of a square shape, but all of them will fit on a three inch square. All right, so all we're doing is moving our resin to the edge. Anytime you use UV resin or epoxy resin, you wanna apply it to the middle and then patiently uh, bring it to the edge of your phone grip or your acrylic or whatever item you're working on. And stipple your brush, that'll help a lot. And the brush I'm using today is just a silicone brush. We have a few different options on the site, zindi.com. All right, now that is there. So we're gonna take our torch and just pop any bubbles that might be there. Uh, with UV resin, always let it sit for a couple seconds and then do it again uh, because micro bubbles are real common with UV resin and a lot of times they come up after a couple seconds. Okay. And then we are using a 48 watt light today. And we are going to cure this for three minutes. And then I always like to put foil on mine just to help it where I don't have to look at it, <laughs> one, and then it just bounces the rays back in. So 60 seconds, three times. So three minutes, move that aside. We're gonna check the brush first and make sure the resin's cured before we touch our actual product. And we are good to go. So we have our first layer of UV on our foam grip. Now, we are gonna do this one. So what you wanna do when using the clear decals is just loosely cut around the image. It doesn't have to be perfect, just so it helps it where you don't see the edges. It just helps them blend in more. All right. And then you want to use transfer tape to get the best outcome. And you just need a little baby ton of piece. All right. So here's our little baby decal. And then transfer tape. Okay. We're just gonna remove the decal, place it on our phone grip. And then roll the transfer tape off. Now at this point, I could totally leave it like this if I wanted to, um, but I really want those edges to fully disappear. So I'm gonna put another layer of UV over it. 
and you don't have to do anything special to seal it or anything like that. And like I said, you don't have to put anything over it at all. You could totally leave it like that and go as is. And you could not put the first layer of UV if you wanted to. It's totally up to you. Or you can use epoxy resin, whatever floats your boat. All right, get our silicone brush. I'm just going to move that resin to the edge to get that dome finish. All right, that's done. We're gonna hit it with our torch. Give it a couple seconds. Look at it from all angles, just in case there's anything we need to fix. And one more time. All right, three minutes, and then we'll be done. All right, three minutes and finished. All right, UV is done. And there we have it. A finished foam grip with the clear decal. See if I can show you better. Super cute. Just so you can have an idea to compare, this one has a layer of resin first. This one has a decal straight on the foam grip with resin over it. So you can kind of see the edge of this one. This one you can't see it at all. Just to give you an idea of the different outcomes you can get. So hopefully that was helpful you guys. Um, enjoy. Again, you can do uh, glitter first if you want it and then put your decal totally up to you. Y'all have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see y'all next time. Bye.